This is Penny from Penny's Infinite Jewelry. And today I have actually two bags, but I don't think we'll get two, both of them. I bought them on from different purchases from a lady on Macari. And she said it was okay to tell you her name. It's Gems and More on Macari. If you wanna go follow her over there. This looks like a fun, fun pack of jewelry here. And we are fixing to dig into it. I don't have my readers with me right now, so we'll do the best we can, okay? All right, here is a pair of lead-free earrings, still in the pack. This doesn't look like our vintage stuff we like, but it looks fun, and I think it will be fun on the, on the, it's fun in my store right now, not on the channel. Well, it's fun on the channel, too. But these are dangle earrings. See, somebody would love those that like that big um, boho stuff. Here's something else. Looks like a bunch of new jewelry. Okay, don't say gross. All of us do that. Here's a pair of earrings, I think. And they are new. And I just got 12 pounds of jewelry jewelry in today. I just dropped that earring. Okay, got it. We got it. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so this is a pair of earrings. So I did a really good sell today. I sold a gold necklace that I had gotten out of the blue boxes um, for $125 on Macari today. And I sold a brooch that was, you've probably seen it on one of my channels. It has an arrow and it had the chains. I sold it for 15 on Poshmark today. So I thought that was pretty good sales to wake up to. Look at these. What are those? Weird earrings. Somebody is going to like that. Ooh, what are these? Green ball earrings. Looks like someone put these on just a pair of hoops. You know, that's an idea too. Me and my sister went to Michael's one time and we bought a pair of just silver hoops. And then we went through and found us some charms to go on them. People don't realize you can do that because I have no idea. Can't get that back through there. But that's what these look like. There you go. There you go. All right, another pair of these. They, they almost sound like a wind chime, don't they? And they got Princess something on them. There used to be a store in the mall that had um, fun, whimsical jewelry like that, I remember. But I can't remember how much I gave her for each of these. It wasn't much money. Maybe 20 25 I don't even remember. But these are new. Little earrings in a pack. You want me to open them? Ooh, sure brought my scissors. So I come up with a name for my blog, and I purchased the course from um, Farmhouse on Boone, Lisa Bass. I'm going through her course, and I come up with my name, and it's Resell, Recycle, Repeat. R, R, R. Took me forever. Look at those. Those are feathery earrings. Um... It took me all day yesterday to try to figure out my name and what I wanted my color schemes to be. And I think I want turquoise and hot pink for my color schemes. But these are two different earrings. Dingle, dingle, dingle. And my got a few more subscribers today. I'm so happy. So when I see them subscribers, it makes me so happy. And I have a ton of view hours. A lot of her stuff is new. If you want me to. To open it, I will. So I have a house full of clothing, but I don't want to sell clothes anymore. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with it. I wanted to send some to thread up to see if they would buy them. I'll put that earring right there. These are no matches yet. And then use that to buy jewelry or whatever. But I know thread up does not pay a lot out. Some people swear by it, but I sent a bag in one time and got like 20 bucks. But you know what? It's better than just going and donating it. Those are singles looking for mates. 
There's an another pair of whimsical earrings. I mean, she really packed this full. Now, these look like a pair of earrings from Mexico. I went to a yard sale the other day, and the lady had a bunch of little beaded earrings, and I asked her how much she wanted, and she said $6 a piece, which was cheap, but I can't buy that and resell them. And she said they were all made in Mexico, so I thought that was pretty cool. Somebody done got the goodie off that one. Oh my goodness. She's just packed up as a little green earring. Let me get that. I'm sorry, I keep disappearing. This is as real as you're gonna get. I don't edit these or anything, so. And I don't care, don't care. There's a yellow and a green, yellow and a green. How fun is this? How fun is this? Silver bangle, bangle bangle. Gold color, bangle, bangle. And I did get my Presidium checker in, and I'm super excited because one thing I was gonna sell, it was a brooch, but it was from the, uh, it was MMM CMA, which is old, and it's from the Modern Something of Art, Modern Museum of Art. And um, I was, it had a stone in it, but I looked at one lady's and hers was $18. Couldn't find anything else like it. So I got my, Presidium checker, and that is a jade, a jade out in the middle of it. So I'm like, mm, no, I'm going to sell it for a little more than that. And I'm going to start pricing myself up a little higher. Um, when I used to have my own thrift shop, my friend um, that worked with me every day, she kind of passed away a couple months ago from asthma attack. But ugh, and that was really hard on me because I worked every day at my thrift shop with this lady. And um, she said, we're going to do an experiment. And I said, well, what are we going to do? She said, we've already done this at the other thrift shop I worked at. They put $15 on one skillet and $2 on another skillet. And the $15 skillet sold first. People think they're getting a good deal. They think your stuff is quality and they want it. These look like a bunch of grapes. Grapes, grapes, grapes. Right there. Okay, here's another fun pack in the pack, and I probably should really be using scissors, but I don't see my scissors right now. And I don't have my scissors. Opened it without fighting. So, them are cute. They're almost like a pinwheel. Those are so cute. I mean, this is not vintage, but it's okay, because I think you need a little of everything in your store. But my... I don't, I've paid for the domain for my blog and all. It is not coming up right now. I guess it's trying to process the payment. And I got a hosting site from um, Scoot, Big Scoot, I think it is. Those are cute. Those are little bracelets for a little girl. That'd be cute for Easter. That was in there. And look what we still have. This is such a fun, fun, fun Till Daddy takes the T-bird away. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sing on here. There is no idea what that is. I think it looks broke. Looks like a broke, broke, broke one. Here's an earring. But I like getting things that you can search for silver and gold. But it's fun to have some of these whimsical, fun things. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. This is a bangle that comes a dime a dozen. I always say that. This is fun. That's a fun, fun. I, was, I think I've, I don't know how many times I've said fun. Okay, I'm gonna quit saying fun. But on my blog, we'll talk about that while I show you the jewelry. On my blog, I'm gonna be doing sewing I take denim jeans and recycle denim jeans and make projects out of them. This is another one of those. So that's a bingo. So another one just like that, isn't it? Right here. See? Okay. Is the lighting okay right here where I'm sitting? Because this is in my bedroom and it's quiet. We got our grandbabies today. So I told my husband, take them outside so I can video. But it's quiet right here. And this is the natural light coming through my window. And anyhow, I hope. Ooh, all the stuff just fell off of those. All the, some, of the, some of the pretty stuff fell off. No, no. 
here, lead free. And I got these again from Jim and Moore, G E M and Moore on Macari. I know y'all are probably very small, but that's cute. That's that's um, the two earrings and two sets of dangle. These are cute. Somebody's gonna love that. Somebody's gonna like it. Somebody gave me a thumbs down the other day. I thought, hmm. It's okay. No, everybody's not going to like everything. I love those. Almost like sell votes. You can't expect to get thumbs ups all the time. I think I just seen those said now. So it's a bingo. Bingo, bingo, bingo. And I'm trying to slow my voice down because everybody said, you don't sound like a southern, southern hick, a southern person. <laughs> I talk fast. My mom talk. Ooh, that looks almost tribal. Tribal earrings. Somebody's gonna want. Somebody's gonna want these. I love getting in here and talking to y'all and just enjoying my time with my jewelry. Got a 12-pound box coming today, and there's like three big bags, and they're supposed to be unsearched jewelry. I got another bag coming in. My husband said, "How can you wait?" I'm like, "Cause I don't want to open it before I get to open it on my channel." Another bangle. Orange earring, and did I, didn't I have? Oh, I got three different colors. So you can wear them different colors. You know, we can't see both ears hardly at the same time. So you just walk around like this, and then when you're wearing the other one, you walk around like that. And people, oh, there's a match. So this is like new jewelry. Fun. I said it again. It's like at the baby showers, you can't say baby, and it's like, oh my gosh. Why would they choose that word not to say at a baby shower? Couldn't it have been something else? Like small. I think I just seen those two. Couldn't it be like small or something? But baby, I lose my clothespins every time. So if you don't know the game, when you come in, they put a couple clothespins on you or one clothespin. And if you say the word baby, somebody else hears you, they get to take your clothespin. And... I lost my clothespins all the time because I really have a loud mouth. This is a necklace, but it's kind of wrinkled. It's kind of cute. I don't know what that is. But this is cute. We're going to start using the word cute. Lord, I was trying to come up with a name for that blog yesterday. And I just could not come. I was, I was just starting to stress over it. That's like a real thin. Those will probably go in a in a crafting lot. I'm trying to come up with that name. And I woke up this morning and I thought, resell, recycle, repeat. And that's because I want I want to just I don't want to just have such a small niche 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 niche. However you say it, um, a small niche. These are like cold to the touch. But you know what it is? It's a lanyard. See that lanyard? And it's got bonus hair in it. That's a... No, it ain't a nothing now. It ain't a nothing. There, there, That just pops right off. I guess it's magnetic. But that would be a lanyard. Those would be easy to make. But I'm all about recycling denim jeans or jewelry. I want to make the jewelry pictures. And so, I think my channel is going to be fun. I put on it as a description. It's going to be reselling jewelry and crafting these little beads i think people just sit around bored when they make those beads here's some earrings this is cute kind of a vintage shimmy shimmy i guess or fake diamonds i have to get my presidium out i will do a whole video with my presidium checker so y'all can see me check some stones that's really cute and one day a week, I wanted to do, I've got so many miraculous stories that's happened to me in my life that could only be explained as miraculous. And I wanted to share that. Maybe that, some fun stuff that's happened. That's another earring. I was missing the stone. There's an earring. What is your favorite thing to photograph? I saw the other day a lady had pictures of Lydia or a man. I guess it could be a man. That is a cute earring. And what they did, 
Is that a money clip or just something broke off? It's one of them whatchamacallits. And they went outside and it looked like they hung their earrings at a tree. And it was just beautiful. And I wanted to do that. Here's just the ball. These earrings, I hope they got matches. They're just individual earrings, but I can use them for my projects. Use them for my projects. So, how do you like the name of my blog? RRR. It's going to be resale. Oh, there, I know I just seen one of these. Recycle, repeat. Oh, I bet that came out of this. What do you think? I'm going to start keeping the jewels too because I don't know what that's going to be watching my collets. This looks like, like um, I don't know what that is. Um, Dad's outside with the babies. We're watching our grandbabies today. Look at that. Look at that. Then let's see what is left. This is just such cute stuff. Not saying, not saying um, fun. But thank y'all for your comments and thank you for following me and subscribing. Just share, share, share. Um, it's really not about getting a bunch of people on here that don't want to be on here. I want to. I want to reach the people that would enjoy this channel. Too many times people get on there just as a um, problem. They get on there and they just want to cause, just give you a thumbs down. They don't enjoy anything. And there's beads falling in the floor. It's okay. That's pretty. And I have a problem. I have a velvet black, that's missing a stone. Um, a velvet black uh, lays down thing to put my, my necklace is on but it gets so much lint on it even when I use a lint roller and I bought one that for white that was faux, fa faux fur and I liked it a lot better there's some earrings bunch of bunch of bunch of bangles bangle bangle bangles look at that look at that you could really oh they're falling in the floor you can make a wind chime with those. What else can we do with these? You can, you, if you don't want to keep them, you can actually uh, toss them and try to put them on top of a Coca-Cola bottle, have a game with them. See, I'm all about recycling. I hate to see things thrown in the garbage that somebody else can use. They just went everywhere. <laughs> They're making music all themselves. Just all themselves. Okay, this is another earring. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everywhere. This, I guess, is, um, I'm going to open up. They're not fun to look at. In the, but I love to be myself on here. I love to just come in here and enjoy this. I want to enjoy doing jewelry, enjoy doing my blog, and enjoy reselling. I love to hear ching ching I woke up to that this morning. And always do them offers. Because if you price a little high and then you offer somebody something low, they're going to really think they're getting a deal. So don't don't forget that offer is there. That must be the other part of the broken one. And these are just adorable. Shimmy, shimmy. I think I've seen that one. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. That's a chandelier. You'd call that probably a chandelier tassel. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what you would call that. But it's a call to something. This fell off of something. And then we have more bangles, which I am not going to open. And one earring. One earring down here. See? All right. So that is my Macari lot that I bought. I don't think I paid much for this. Maybe $18 or something like that. It was just a fun lot to do. But coming next is going to be another one of the same girl gems and more lot so this is penny and stay tuned for my blog coming i am so excited to get to craft and take pictures and show you how to make things and i'm just a crafty penny could have been my name all right thank you love you god bless you and go enjoy you some jewelry